Hello and welcome again to MTG Shredder. And it looks like we're going to hop on the Amaket train. That's right. Let's see what we have in that brand new set. Amonket. Waiting for an Egyptian set. I've had mixed reviews. People say they like it. Some people say they're not too too happy with it. But uh, you know what? Has some neat cards in there. Definitely. And I was also sent a challenge. Because <laughs> I'm opening Amonket. Ten cards, ten booster packs here versus three booster packs here. Am I going to pull something better? Well, we're going to shred something that is from the losers. <laughs> Kanza Takir. Okay, I'm going to open these real quick. I'll be right back and we'll have some fun. MTG. Shredder. All right, we're going to open up some Almond Kit. And went ahead and moved all the packaging because it's a little bit easier to do that. And of course, we have just a standard wonderful bundle. Got everything. Yeah. Nice. Definitely like to buy at least one of these per set. So you get some neat stuff with it. And you get a spin down life counter and all of that. Ooh. Now they're getting fancy. Look at that dice. I like that. That's new. <laughs> Pyramid on top. Well, that's worth it right there. And look, you get Angel of Sanctions. Zombies. So you get tokens. I think this comes with a whole new set of stuff. I think 80, 80 lands in this, and 20 of them are full art. So, you know, it's kind of worth it. Definitely like, didn't expect to see that. That's pretty cool. Tokens. <laughs> Something new each time. I guess it says in the back, probably. Yeah. Got tokens. 25 of them. Wow. Spin down dice. Yeah, they're getting a little bit better. Encyclopedia, but here's what we're after. There we go. Quick reference. Okay, we'll set this aside for all the commons and uncommons and we'll set our rares here let's get all set up okay now again my friends like to send me challenges and i don't mind that because they knew i was going to open the almond kit and they said hey we're going to challenge three cons of takir packs versus your 10 almond kit and who's going to get the better cards out of here or out of here <laughs> i'm hoping out of here but I've been wrong before. We'll set those aside. We'll open up the end. We'll see how it matches up. And of course, we have our trusty shredder for uh, that competition. But let's get going. All right. Some nice mythics in here. And of course, you have your uh, people are calling them Yu Gi Oh cards now. <laughs> I kind of, you know, I'm a little bit mixed upon whether I like the, the, the look of those. Uh, Oh, I forgot what they even call those things. I very seldom draw them, but, you know, let's find out. So let's a Watchful Naga. Bone Picker. Sh Shefit Monitor. Ooh, has a 6-5. That's a big fatty. It's Cycling, of course. Cycling's back, which is great. And our rare is Failure and Comply. <laughs> and, oh, I think we have a foil. Uh, look at that. Gideon's Intervention as our... First foil, and it's a rare. That's pretty good. Planes, not bad. So we got a rare, and we got a foil rare. Not bad at all. Okay, of course, we always, always like to uh, pamper our good cards. We will punish those uh, bad cards, but we pamper the good ones. So I think we'll put those in there. All right, not bad, not bad. We'll set those aside. Into the box. <laughs> My seven year old's starting to get into magic, so I gotta make sure I have cards for him to play with, so setting those aside for him. <laughs> I get to play with all the rares though. Eventually he'll inherit my collection when I'm done with it. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Number one, foil rare. I don't know if we can outdo that. But we're going to sure try. Let's do it. All right. Get to the good stuff. Somewhere in here. Oh, well. There it is. <laughs> Hard to find. Lord of the Accursed. 
like that. Zombies give zombies menace is a 2-3, so it's like a zombie master. Well, it's an uncommon section, which is nice. Hazaret's Monument, Decimator, Beetle, and Never Return. Ah, it's two split cards, and two, and a forest on the kit. Nice. So we got the second one. Yeah, we'll set these over here. All right. Well, we'll set that there. Never return. Failure to comply. <laughs> Two in a row. I'll move this over a little bit. I got uh, a little bit of light glare going on. Uh, see if I can adjust that for you. Oh, I'll well, we'll continue. Something about foils and, you know, keeping them packed. Okay. There we go. Okay. We have Sensor. Angler Drake. They bear the heart. Ooh, that's actually kind of neat. I like that card. And, ooh, Glory Bringer. That's a good card. Okay. We got a good card. That's in the definite top ten of this set. And to go with it, we have a Cursed Minotaur. Oh, and a full art. Yeah, I like these full arts, too. I like the Oath of Gate watch, the Battle for Zendikar art. But these are nice. Pretty. And... <laughs> Look at that, we've got a foil, and we have a glory bringer. That flying haste 4-4, four, four, and you can exert it and do 4 damage to any non-dragon creature and opponent controls. And that's that's pretty powerful for a quick 5-5 five, five flyer. A 4-4 four, four flyer, sorry, but with haste. Decent card, decent card, very decent. Okay, well, and we got... Our first full art. And a cat token, too. Wow, that goes good. All right, I'm going to set that full art there. Cause that's mine. <laughs> All right. Jeru's Resolve. Where are we at? Gift of Paradise. Oh, still going. There it is. There's an uncommon for us. A part... Huh. Apatra's Mark. Huh? I think I'm going to have trouble pronouncing a lot of these. That's okay. Trial of Zeal. Three damage to target creature or player. Eh, not bad. Tumbling Sands, Vizier. And Dusk and Dawn. Boy, this is a, a lot of those... Uh, <laughs> a lot of these types of cards. With a mountain. And a Sacred Cat. There's a lot of Sacred Cats. So... We have yet another split card. Huh. That's three. Four packs, three split cards. I sense a theme here. Set you in there. Next one. No mythics yet. Not a single god card and not a sniff of anything else. We'll keep looking for it though. Okay. So we have a Warfire Javelinier. Time to reflect. Yes, a little time to reflect. And a Vizier of Deferment. With another split card. Look at that. That's uh, four of them. I think we're going to have this whole set. It's going to be just a couple of other. And a f Swamp with a Warrior. <laughs> it's quite an interesting... Uh, bundle we have here. So, so far we have one, two, three, four. Four of the five packs have had those. I don't know how many split cards there are, but uh, I think we're going to get most of them in this fat pack, or whatever we want to call it now. Sun Scorched Desert. That's kind of neat. Comes into play, does damage, target player. Oh, and it gives a colorless mana. Nice. Very nice. I can make use of that. Synchronized Strike. Merciless Javelinier. A lot of Javelineers. <laughs> Defiant Great Maw. And Glory Bound Initiate. Hey, it's not a split card. You may exert Glory Bound Initiate as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one, plus three, and gains lifelink until end of turn. And, oh, Full Art Forest. Very tasty. Beast Token, too. <laughs> Another Full Art. And a Glory Bound Initiate. Come here, my friend. I'll set you there. It's 3-1 for for 2. That's not bad at all. And you can make it even bigger. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. 
and lifelink. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have Kefnet's Monument. Deem worthy seven damage target creature. Wow. Reduce to rubble and throne of the god Pharaoh with a swamp. Yeah, we got a swamp. A vizier of many faces. Eh. Wow, token creature, zombie shapeshifter cleric. That's a lot of uh, stuff, but throne of the god Pharaoh. The beginning of your end step. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. <laughs> I guess that's one way of uh, making people lose life, isn't it? We'll set that in there. I, I can see some interesting decks coming out of that one. All right, glory bringer so far is the uh, the big one. I don't think Gideon's intervention, even as a foil, is going to be probably worth a whole lot. But you know, I've been wrong many, many times before, <laughs> and I'll probably be wrong again. Okay, here we go. We have protection of the Hekma, a zenith seeker, flying two two. Huh. Limits of solidarity and. There's that prowling serpopard. Serpopard? Wow. Snake cat. Cat snake. 4 3, though. I like that card. With. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. How about a foil? Foil dually. Swamp mountain. Canyon slough. Enters a battlefield tapped. Cycling. Nice little catch there. And a zombie token to go with it. Well, I am. Wow, darn right proud to pop that one. That was nice. Very nice. We will set that carefully in here. And grab a brand new delicious top loader. Pop that in there. There you go. Look at that. So it's a pretty good bundle. We've gotten two foil rares and a glory bringer. That's not too too shabby. And I'm going to find a way to play this one. I mean, this is a good card. Can't be countered. <laughs> Creature spells you control can't be countered. I can make use of that. And it's 4-3 for 3. For three. And heck, it's a cat snake. How often do you see a cat and a snake get together and have a cat snake? Only an almond cat, my friends. Only an almond cat. But don't worry if you don't like it. We'll just make it into a zombie. Mummify it. and You'll like it later, right? Okay. Evolving Wilds is back. Can never have enough of those. And another time to reflect. Sensor. <laughs> that's cycling, too. That can be very useful. Lay Claim. That's an expensive one, but you got cycling again. Champion of the Ronas. Four cost. 3-3, three, three, you may exert Champion Aronas as it attacks. When you do, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's not bad at all. And a Plains. And uh, a bunch of token creators. All right. Last pack so far. I think uh, we're going to have to pop a uh, Foil Fetchlander. Or Amon Ket's going to win. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can find that uh, Battlefield Scavenger. Scaled Behemoth. That is a big crocodile. Hexproof. Ooh. <laughs> that could be fun. Renewed Faith. Gain six life. And Regal Caracal. <laughs> Here's a cat deck staple, I would think. Yeah, the cats you control. Very nice. Very nice. And ooh, a foil supply caravan. With a full art mountain. Well, ended with a kitty, and uh, at least it had a foil out of it. Not bad, not bad. All in all, that's uh, I would call that a success. I mean, come on, you got a foil canyon slew, you got yourself a glory bringer, and a foil Gideon's intervention, all in ten packs. That's that's pretty decent, and some playable cards. Some fun. Can't believe how many of those split cards we got, though. That's 
kind of awkward. Okay, all right, the challenge now. Let the challenge begin. Here we go, first pack. Don't know how many more tons I'm going to be able to open here, but uh, these are kind of fun. Not a whole lot of good, extremely uh, valuable rares anymore. I've got a Windscarred Crag, though. That's got to be worth something, right? Has been Falconer, Mardu, and a Savage Knuckle Blade with a planes. Well, Savage Knuckle Blade. Yeah. Set you down there. I'm feeling you may be in the low category there. All right. Chance number two to beat Amonkhet with only three packs. Yes. Let's do it. Karu Bloodsucker. Watcher of the Roost. Oh, there's our rare Crackling Doom. And a Salt Road Patrol. Wow. Crackling Doom. You are also on the chopping block, my friend. All right, last pack. Last chance to beat Amonkhet. You sent me pretty wimpy packs, my friend. Where I had a very powerful, very powerful Amonkhet. All right. Let's get down to it here. Where are you at? Okay, here we go. We got a Mardu Blaze Bringer. Tamir Charm. Despise, yes, and <gasps> ha ha ha, too bad, too bad, so sad. Dragon Throne of Tarkir, you're nothing like my throne of the god pharaoh. Eh, it's actually not a bad card. Equip creature has defender and gains two other creatures you control, gain trample, and get plus X plus us. It'll end a turn, yes, but this is a legendary artifact, and this is an equipment legendary artifact. This is from the newer set. This is no longer played very much. The winner is Amonkhet. Sorry. Crackling Doom, Savage Knuckle Blade. Hmm. Oh, was the other one? Oh, yes. Dragon Throne Attack here. Hmm. Which one shall go bye bye? Two damage to each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures he or she controls. Ogre Warrior. That's an Ogre Warrior. That's kind of cool. Yes. Dragon Throne of Takir. It's too bad. So sad. But you know what? Today we lose Savage Knuckle Blade. Sorry, my friends. <sighs> Don't try this at home. Let us do it for you. <laughs> Feed. Feed. That's right. It's all about the fetch when dealing with Khans of Tarkir, and far from it. Well, thank you for joining me. That was pretty neat. I think I might invest in a box because yeah, I actually kind of like these cycling uh, dualies, I guess you can call them, Swamp Mountain. And these are all very fun, flavorable cards. Even Gideon's Intervention. Didn't get any Mythics this time, but... Uh, Maybe we'll get a box and get some mythics. Who knows? Join us again. Thank you for watching. Take care. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a wonderful time making these videos. And we're hoping that you'll like, share, and subscribe.